is now officially the Edward C. Garland Youth Center. That is the new youth center located in the downtown Providenciales area, and an unveiling and naming ceremony was done this past weekend, and Garland was awarded the honor for his tireless effort to the community and the project. Angie Toussaint has more. These red balloons were released in honor of the naming and dedication ceremony for the new Edward C. Gartland Youth Center, the newest outlet in Providenciales, where young people can go to participate in positive activities, learn valuable developmental skills, and create forums where they can talk to one another about preventative measures to stop the spread of HIV and AIDS amongst the youth of the Turks and Caicos Islands. The new youth center, situated adjacent to the New Age Academy Learning Center, was created out of the vision of the Turks and Caicos AIDS Awareness Foundation, and after four years, the vision is now reality. This is a significant milestone, not only for the Turks and Caicos AIDS Awareness Foundation, but for the young people who live here, and for the many individuals and companies that have helped make this center a reality. Even though the vision for the youth center was sparked by the AIDS Foundation, it has really been a community-wide effort, and it has been involving lots of people, numerous individuals and companies, many of you who are here today. TCAAF patron and minister responsible for home affairs, the Honorable Gamble Williams, talked about the positive contributions this will add to our community. I believe truly this is what it takes for us to make our ballot perks and gators. When we as citizens and parents and business persons can get together and do our small part to help make a difference. Recent studies have shown that people of color and youth between the ages of 15 and 24 are most susceptible to the disease. The TCAAF has a subsidiary committee report which focuses on reaching out to the youth. That this facility here, this institution, will make a difference in all of our kids' lives. Uh, and the other part that means a lot to me is that uh, recently, not a, minute, a few years ago, uh, I've lost a brother, my brother, Ed brother, and Margot and Polly and Joy, my niece, my two sisters and my niece are here. We lost a brother, and everybody knows me from, I mean, who was around those days. From, uh, we lost him from, from, from HIV and AIDS. And Bifa, he was a Jojo of the land. <laughs> was uh, very friendly, outgoing, very helpful, and he would have done anything and everything to help anyone. And uh, early on this morning when I was down here, I said to Peter, I know Beef is looking down on heaven and saying to the members of the foundation, thank you so much for helping to save lives in Turks Caicos and beyond. Edward C. Gartland talked to WIV4 about his thoughts on the new center. I really am speechless. I'm taken back because I didn't expect uh, anything like that. I think that, uh, that everyone here has contributed so much to this success of this project. And, and uh, you know, it's been four years, five years coming, and, and uh, I just see faces everywhere that have put in a lot of time and effort and money and, and dedication. And it wouldn't be here without all you. So I. I accept this on behalf of you, not, not myself, because, and this guy in particular. Yeah. yeah, that's wonderful. The Turks and Caicos AIDS Awareness Foundation is a nonprofit organization which focuses on raising awareness and education for HIV AIDS in order to promote prevention. For WIV4 News, I'm Angie Toussaint.